So you might be wondering how all this works. What's the mechanism of action? How am I getting better by poking into pain and doing the things that I love again? So to be honest, we don't know the exact mechanism, but we have a few ideas from a few areas of research. So let's jump into those. So one, there's just inherent value in doing the things that you love. You do these things because they provide something else that is good for you. I think they sometimes have this halo effect where that halo of benefits carries over and starts to positively cover our pain experience. We're gonna do a whole other video series on that as well. Number two is something called habituation, which is really cool. We know that when we get the dosage right, we can do painful activities and our body and our nervous system will desensitize to those activities. You know, think of rock climbers with their hands or think of a cook uh, with boiling water or grease that doesn't notice it over time. Or think of cyclists and their once sensitive saddles, right? Your crotch gets sore after 20 minutes when you start riding. And then after a while, you can ride for three hours. It's not like these cyclists create some wicked crotch callus, right? Where <laughs> That would be disgusting. Uh, where they tolerate that. That's a nervous system response in response to a painful activity, like our body helps us out and our brain helps us out sometimes. And from the habituation literature, we do know that sometimes we sensitize in the short term where we have more pain at the start of these things, right? But over a week or so, we start to have less pain. And this is the really interesting and complicated part of this. Our beliefs, like our mindset and our optimism and how we view this, can actually change how much habituation we get. That's why like understanding that you're safe and being confident is so important when you start poking into painful and meaningful activities. And the last idea, and there's many more, comes from the exposure literature for, for graded activity to fear or to anxiety producing situations. So what happens is when we do something that we're afraid of, and then we end up not suffering the consequences or the expectation of what we think is going to happen, like, oh no, I'm gonna damage my back when I bend, and that doesn't happen, or you have pain, but you're kind of okay with that after, our brain has to, or our nervous system, whatever makes the decisions around here, has to revisit you know, it's thought process. You have to like change your opinion about what's going on. It's almost like you've surprised yourself and then again, we've got to change the opinion of pain. 